Welcome back to Johnny's Garage Galley. Um, trying to keep ourselves amused during the COVID-19 uh, lockdown here in West Palm Beach. And just amusing ourselves with uh, a few little cooking videos. Uh, today what we're doing is one of my most favorite things in the whole wide world. Spaghetti bongole, spaghetti and clam sauce. Uh, this goes way back for me, this particular rendition of it. Um, back to New York City, a uh, group of restaurants that we ran. Uh, one of them, uh, most uh, notably, uh, was called Contrapunto, which uh, counterpoint in Italy. Um, just wonderful restaurant, simple, straightforward, homemade pasta. Um, and this particular dish, they refer to it as uh, Marina Piccola. And I'd have to research that to even tell you what the Italian interpretation of that is, but uh, Italian interpretation of that is, but uh, it's spaghetti bongole. The difference being with this particular version is that I'm using uh, both uh, julienne leeks and sun-dried tomatoes, in addition to uh, garlic or olive oil um, and good quality of olive oil, of course. Uh, we're going to be finishing it with some Italian parsley. Um, and here are my clams. So let's talk about the clams. Uh, these obviously are already out of the shell. This is, uh, uh, this is a, a chef's hack, if nothing else. Uh, I work on the yachts, and prior to the guest arrival, uh, I, I'll get a, a gigantic delivery, and uh, the clams come in fresh, they come in the shells, and out of necessity, out of uh, survival, uh, I, I steam them ahead of time. White wine, a little bit of garlic, steam them just till they're open, I uh, drain the juice, I spill out the clams uh, onto a, a tray, let them cool down quickly, shell them, put them back into the juice, into ice water, cool them down rapidly. Now this does a couple things for me. Uh, if you've ever had spaghetti vongole with the, with the shells, you know that sometimes you get you know, pieces of shell, uh, grit from the uh, sand or whatever from the, from the clams. Uh, in, in this uh, case, you know, after they've been shelled, they've been put back into the juice, all that, any grit or any sand will, will settle to the bottom of, of, the, of the container. Uh, what I do is after that, after they cool down completely, I gently lift the clam meat out of the juice, I'll put them into uh, storage containers, let all that sediment settle to the bottom, pour it over the clam juice again, package and freeze them. Uh, and in a, in a minute's notice, I can, uh, I can have spaghetti vongole ready for my guest. Um, so, so there you go. And these clams are farm grace. Um, if you're up in uh, the northeast of America, you, you're up in Maine, uh, Massachusetts, uh, you get those beautiful little necks, wild little necks. Uh, they're just you know bristling with uh, the, the, the freshness and the, and the salt from the ocean. Uh, yes, much better different, much better product. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to get some heat underneath our uh, garlic. Uh, we're going to put a little color on this, get just toasted a little bit. We're going to add uh, some hot pepper because I think that's just a natural for me. Um, and uh, then I'm going to add the, once, it's, once the garlic is browning, uh, we're going to add the clam juice uh, and that will immediately stop the garlic from browning. Uh, at that point, I'll add my sun-dried tomatoes and my leeks. And so, so the sauce can be made ahead of time. Um, and, and then I, you know, I'll pull it, off, pull it off. I will not add the clam meat, just the juice. Um, at this point, uh, I'll cook the pasta. Now this particular pasta I'm using is a thin spaghetti and it cooks in six to seven minutes. One of the key things here is uh, undercooking the pasta. Uh, I'll probably cook it for four minutes. Pull it out. It's, it's going to be it's, it's going to be under al dente. Uh, the reason being is I want to put that undercooked spaghetti into the sauce, 
and, and allow the sauce to absorb the flavor, add the spaghetti to absorb the flavors of the sauce and to continue cooking the spaghetti and bring it up to al dente. We'll fold in the uh, Italian parsley and we're ready for dinner. Now, another key thing with uh, spaghetti vongole, once it's cooked, you have to eat it. You can't sit. Uh, al dente pasta, the Italians are, pa Italians are extremely passionate about this and, and rightly so. Uh, okay, bear with us and we're gonna put this uh, sauce together. Okay, again, a little bit of color on that. I'll put in some uh, chili flakes. Again, this can be done uh, to taste, you know, your particular taste. Little disclaimer here, uh, I'm cooking and cooking with one hand and filming with the other and uh, so there you go, I'm uh, adding the juice, and that'll stop the, the uh, garlic from browning. That's a good color for me. I, I, you know, people would get a little bit of controversy uh, regarding browning garlic. I think it has a, a unique flavor, a flavor that I love. Uh, you know, if you want to, you want chopped garlic in there, if you, uh, you can use whatever garlic you like. This is my own particular, and again, you, know, you may notice that the garlic has been sliced. All right. Uh, in go the leeks. Now these sun-dried tomatoes here, uh, if you can notice, uh, these are actually from Italy, uh, packed in oil. There's many, many, many varieties of uh, sun-dried tomatoes. These just happen to be really good ones. Um, they've been flavored with uh, capers and a little bit of crushed uh, fennel seed. Uh, and I just find them absolutely delicious. I can eat the things right out of the jar. Uh, some of the harder ones that you get them that are completely dry may need to be uh, reconstituted. And the American ones, well, I'm sorry, but I'm, I just don't find them appealing at all. Right. Just want to get those leeks a little bit tender. It doesn't take very long. Then we're going to remove it from the heat. I'll put my, uh, my pot back on. Uh, we're going to cook our pasta, like I said, for four minutes. Uh, fold it into our, uh, our mixture. Add the clams at that point. You know, just, you know, the clams just need to be warmed up. They're, they're already cooked. I don't want to cook them until they're rubbery. And, and then it's time to eat. I'm hungry. Okay, we got a good boil going here. Um, now this sauce, uh, I'm not adding any salt. Uh, I did add some uh, fresh ground black pepper to the, to the sauce, but I didn't add any salt. Um, we have the sun-dried tomatoes in there. You have the uh, saltiness uh, from the clams. Um, and we're gonna just add a little bit of uh, salt. Um, and you always get that reaction. <laughs> I don't know the scientific reasoning for that, but uh, it's not the first time that's happened to me. Okay, we we'll add our pasta. Now, oh, like I said, uh, this particular pasta uh, is six to seven minutes. It is a thin spaghetti. And, uh, okay, we're at four minutes. I don't know if the camera's gonna quite do that justice or if you could pick up on it, but it, the pasta is somewhat pliable, um, but it is still crunchy. It's, it's under al dente. So what we want to do now is we just want to stir that all in and let, let that sauce, the garlic and the olive oil, the uh, clams and sun-dried tomatoes, soak up, soak up, let the pasta soak up all that wonderful flavor.
see there's still quite a bit of juice in there. That's good. I also have a little more, more juice reserved and I'll use those clams for another purpose. I think I have enough clams in there. But if uh, the pasta dries up too much, uh, absorbs too much of it right now, uh, I can always uh, add a little bit more juice. Oh yeah. I'm going to say we're about one minute away from being a perfect al dente. Radio. Okay, final, final thing. Parsley. Italian parsley. I love it. I, I'm not bashful. Turning off the heat, and we are done. Ladies and gentlemen, spaghetti vongole. Give me one minute, I'll plate it for you and uh, give you an idea of what it looks like in a bowl. camera will not turn. And there you have it. Uh, my version of spaghetti vongole, marina piccola, alla contrapunto, uh, spaghetti clam sauce, however you want to, whatever you want to call it, it's delicious. Uh, and I love it. Uh, I hope you do too. Bon appetit.